a major political shake-up in Thailand. The country's top court has suspended Prime Minister Prayut Jana Shah from duty while it considers a legal challenge to his term in office. The kingdom's constitution limits leaders to just eight years in power. Opposition parties argue the ex-army chief has overstayed his tenure since he seized power in the 2014 military coup. It's unclear when the court will decide on his fate. Some of Mr. Prayut's supporters say his premiership started in 2019, after the first general election under the latest constitution. And Saksith Sao Sambad joins us live from Bangkok. Saksith, did this decision to suspend Prime Minister Prayut come as a surprise? How do the people feel? It is somewhat of a surprise given the track record of the Constitutional Court and its verdict tended to have sided and agreed with um, the current government. But uh, make no mistake, this is not a full verdict. The Constitutional Court has decided to take this case and also um, suspend the Prime Minister from his duties for now. Uh, we have heard from a government spokesperson saying that Braid himself, he respects and accepts the decision and he will uh, step aside for now. The leader of the opposition from the Purtai party, which have sent this petition, they are also respecting and um, they are rather content with the decision for now. But they have also called that uh, the acting prime minister, deputy prime minister, Prawit Wongsuwan, should resign so parliament can now uh, carry its duty to vote for a new prime minister. No plans for that whatsoever. And then there are also the protesters that have been on the streets since yesterday. They have been very few. There are even fewer now, not even a hundred of people uh, are out there. They should be pretty happy about this outcome for now. Uh, and this decision might actually even lower the political tensions, at least for now, until there's a full verdict. Oh, Saksith, uh, tensions may go down slightly from now. But Mr. Prior does, in fact, have 15 days to clarify his position following this decision by the Constitutional Court. What can we expect, say, in the next two weeks? And what does this all mean for Thai politics beyond just two weeks? As you just said, uh, Brayud has two weeks to state his case, why he should stay in office, why his uh, term limit does not end yesterday or does not end on this um, Wednesday here. Going, but going forward, this is yet another chapter in Thailand's tumultuous political history that has been going on for at least two decades now. We are seeing Deputy Prime Minister Prawit Wong Suwan taking over as acting um, Prime Minister, very much cut from the same cloth uh, as Prayut in, the, in terms of being both military men, uh, even though we, we must not forget Prawit is also the leader of the ruling um, Palang Pasharat party. So, there are questions. There are calls growing for snap elections, but even though it doesn't really make sense because next year, early next year, um, the elections are due anyway. So, is this a shift in power? Is this a shift in balance? Not so much. The um, government is really uh, going at lengths to demonstrate, to uh, show, and to display continuity that everything is going on as usual. It's just you know, the prime minister is taking a break or is forced to take a break for now. We are seeing the itinerary uh, of the government house saying that Pri uh, acting Prime Minister Prawit is going to take over duties for now. And let's also not forget, Prawit is still Defence Minister and there are plans for him to attend a, a meeting uh, on Thursday as well. Whether or not he's going to be there in person, that is another question. But overall, yes, we said that this might lower tensions but with a verdict coming out, this might rise tensions again, and there might be another chapter in Thailand's pol tumultuous political history. All right, uh, thanks for that. Success, Sal Sambat reporting live just there from Bangkok.